The following podcast has been rated R. You've been warned. Welcome to the greatest DC Legends podcast in human history. Well, okay, maybe not. But stick around anyway, because we're going to have some fun. You know me, I'm the A.B., and along with my crew, we'll talk DCL and everything else in between. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Atlantis After Dark. Hello, hello, and welcome. You found your way to our humble little podcast. Thank you so much for being with us today on this dynamite edition of Double A D. Just a quick reminder, you never have to miss a single episode if you're a subscriber. So don't wait. Hammer that subscribe button with your sock pickle and click that little bell icon on YouTube so you never miss an episode. And folks, we got new tunes to talk about, including King Shazam and the Batman Who Sucks. Wait, I mean, Laughs. Uh, that should be a lot of fun and also reworks, but we're going to take it a step further. We didn't do this on the last show because we sort of ran out of time, but we're going to talk about which tunes we think most need a good rework. Biff, I'm sure is going to catch us up on his Biff challenge, which I've still not been attacked in. And (laughs) Dr. Crane stops by. I'll tell you what, let's not dick around anymore. Let's get right to the panel. First up, our resident Slug Force superstar. Lately, a lot of people have been pointing their fingers at him, and those are just the lesbians showing the barber how they want their hair cut. It's the Italian BMT of podcasts, my good buddy Black Flash. How's it hanging, man? God, man, you're on fire. You are on fire. (laughs) That's my favorite part of the show now. I I get most excited to hear how you're just going to tear me apart at the beginning. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) Is that really a thing? Like, you guys really like the fucking roasts? I I guess. I guess it's a popular thing. Personally. Okay. I do too. They're great. I just don't want people to like listen to the roast and then stop listening. Maybe I should put them halfway through the show or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, all right. Next up, he's so old, he gets all of his text messages by Morse code. It's our favorite challenge series leader and known Anderson Cooper stunt double, Biff. How the hell are you today, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> was that an SOS? No, it's a, it's a Morse code, man. All right. All right. Morse code it is. <laughs> uh, lastly, on his wedding night, when he took his pants off in front of his wife for the first time, she started laughing and asked, who do you think you're going to please with that? And he said, me. It's Retmus. <laughs> What's happening, Big Kahuna? Uh Great, great to be here, man. Love, yeah. love the roast, man. Love the roast. I, I told you that you wrote your own this week, right? Hey, there's more than one way to please a woman. <laughs> I've been waiting ever since you said that. You just wrote your own. I've been waiting. Oh here. man. Oh, I love God. how I called you Big Kahuna after that too. Right? <laughs> Who are you gonna please with that? How's it going, Big Kahuna? <laughs> uh, we have a lot of fun over here on Double H, <laughs> folks. Oh boy. Before we go into anything, I wanted to share a quick little bit with you. I don't know why I missed out on watching this in its original run, but CW came up with a new show called Superman and Lois, and yes. I was burnt out on the CW shows. Uh, I'd say probably just before the pandemic, I was getting kind of sick of Flash. Arrow was over with. Uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow was fun, but it wasn't. It didn't really scratch that itch for me. And I like Black Lightning, right? But sometimes it's confusing to try and follow. So when they came out with Superman and Lois, I thought to myself, eh, this is just another throwaway show. But you guys know what? It's not. It's a really good Superman show. 
I agree. It seems like they took a lot of elements from Man of Steel, Henry Cavill's version, Zack yeah. Snyder's, and they incorporated that into the show. I mean, just the way the cinematography's done, the angles, yeah. you know, of filming, yeah. uh, the superpowers. I mean, it's so reminiscent of Man of Steel. I think that's why I liked it so well. I think one of the reasons I like it so well is because it hits on Superman's duality in a way that maybe we haven't really seen um, on a TV show before. And what I mean by that is you see him struggling to be this this husband and this father to his kids who he's just learning have powers. And at the same time, he still has to be Superman. Hmm. You know? Does, it, does the show... Does the show last like really long, like his PvP matches, or does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they last very long. I, I I marathoned the entire series yesterday, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to start watching it. I think it's a, a new one just show. came out, or it's coming out this week. The okay. number seven, because they they had to go on a hiatus because of COVID shutdown. Because oh, I guess right. some people on the set got uh, COVID. Oh boy! And that and they replaced it with Supergirl for the time, right? But I'll tell you, if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. Uh, it's very it's a it brings new life into the CW shows because, it does. like AB was saying, a lot of the others were getting really stale, uh, actually kind of boring. This one, it, it's a fresh new take on it, and you know, like just the struggles that he has to deal with, you know, trying to be a dad. But also be Superman, like he was saying. I mean, it it makes for a great watch. It really does. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah. I'm glad you guys brought it up because I seen it described yesterday as a Superman show finally done right. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. So then it's I on HBO Max. You can check it about there. It. Yeah. No, it's on well, HBO I Max. Seen it if on you want to watch yesterday. it. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll have to take a peek then. I was, yeah, I was curious definitely. about it because I seen it described as that, and then they had the whole season running on some random sling channel. I think it was like TNT or something. Right. Yesterday, yeah. and I was yeah. curious about it. Well, I'll have to check it out then. Because he yeah. had been Superman for years, is what I got from the description of it. And now he's married and has kids. And yes. What are the kids' names? I was super curious when I was reading uh, the description. Well, one of them is it's John and Connor. Right. And the and other Jordan. one is Jordan. Yep. And Jordan. Yep. Cool. It's a fantastic show. I'll have to check that check out. it out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, BF and even Biff, I think, would like it. It's it's in that same vein, albeit not as campy as the Batman sixty six series. I'd like to think that that's the case at least. I do want to circle so. back to one thing real quick. You said it wasn't. Yeah, everything else wasn't scratching that itch for you. I think antibiotics will right. take care of that for you. <laughs> Just that well, all right, all right. I will. And who's that, by the way? Who who does she play on 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 the on the CW series and which show? Who? I don't know the the, the lady what? you just said that I should watch. Who? What? What What's are you talking here? about? He said, said. He said. He said. I said antibiotics, antibiotics would fix the itch. Oh. And I said calamine lotion. Man. <laughs> I, I didn't hear I, I the, 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 what you said. Merged I thought you said a proper name. name. <laughs> no, I thought you said a proper name. All right. All right. Oh, you got funny. me. <laughs> you got me. I blame bad <laughs> static on the uh, on the internet line connection. Anyways, <laughs> without further ado, let's get into some DCL. New tunes. King Shazam and the Batman Who Laughs. Um... Is it a coin toss at this point? Which one do we think is going to be better in the long run? Or do we think neither of them are going to be any good? I think Batman That Laughs is going to be good. Um, nothing super special. Um, I have not played with them yet, but, you know, originally when I reviewed the kit, it was just kind of blah. I didn't see a lot to it. Um but then listening to the guys from WROL talk about him and have played with him, and it, it's he's an interesting character, and I think he's going to be an interesting character for some of the newer players as well because he doesn't need a lot of his legendaries right. to really work. Um, so he's interesting to me. Um, you know, some of the legendaries are just like, eh, who cares? Um, but, you know, he's, he's based on crit, crit chance ups. 
uh, which who knows, maybe he could become uh, an A minus B plus uh, raid tune. Who knows? I, I don't know that, sure. but maybe you know he could be a better version of Owlman or quite vexing or something like that. So, I mean, I'm not super excited, but. You know, I felt, you know, you don't get too many L2 viable um, characters, especially for some of the newer players. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I think they compared him to Impulse in that way. You didn't need a lot of the legendaries for Impulse. Was it Impulse they compared him to? They did compare him to Impulse. I, I, I didn't see that comparison as much, but I did certainly agree when I went through the legendary kit. It was just two of them jumped out to me. It was his four and it was his three. And all the other ones, like... His one and two are based on, you have to, they're nothing unless your opponent, the the person you're attacking has a crit chance up on them. Hmm. So I'm like, that's, that's kind of blah. I'm yeah. curious to try you know, them. Yeah. Have any of you guys played with them yet? I, I think, AB, you have them, don't you? I unlocked him a couple of days ago, and I think I got him up to mm-hmm. gear level, what, nine? Let me look really quick. Um, uh, so but I have not used him. him a little bit. Yeah. No, I've, I've not used him at all. No. I, my, mine is the Batman that's locked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I call him the Batman that sucks because I'm not really a fan of that character in general. I mean, we it's have a Joker. Story we line. have a Batman. I don't know why we need a mixture of the two. <laughs> Jeff Johns must have been on crack that day. <laughs> He's, King it's just the dev's way of. It was just the dev's way of uh, needling the Superman people. <laughs> yeah, by, giving, yeah. Like, by adding another Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to make mention of that too. We now have another freaking Batman in the game, and we have as many Batmans as we do Superman skins. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> You got more Shazams than you got Superman. Uh, yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they'll say. They'll go back and say, no, we gave you uh, Cyborg Superman. Oh. It's not like Superman. It's over. I know it's not Superman. Yeah. I do like Cyborg Superman, though. We got like two Superman. Superboys. Yeah. True. Yeah. That's true. We got a Bizarro. I mean, I guess all their kits are kind of similar because, yeah. you know, they would be super superman kryptonian ish so i mean yeah. how many different ways can you spin it but i mean there's a lot that they could do you know they should have given us a whole new character either the black suit superman as a character or oh, red sun as an actual character i think that would have been fantastic i do too and i was pushing hard for a red yeah, sun they would have taken for a that long fucker time away oh yeah yeah i know a lot of people would have dished out money for that you know but oh they're yeah just throwing them out as a skin when you know how how much more difficult would it be to throw in you know a kit and just assign that character with the skin as a new character i mean it's i I don't understand the devs mentality because in programming standards they have a template set up they have classes already built and they're just reusing it and populating those classes with new parameters it's not like i got to completely overhaul and redo something if they're just going to use the same base models well, we'll get into a little bit more of that when we start talking about the reworks. I'm sure that'll be very interesting when we start talking about that, especially from your perspective as a programmer yourself. Um, what about King Shazam? How do we feel about this? Uh, I find him interesting. Really? Why, why is that? I don't know. He doesn't really. I only have him L1 so far. I haven't right. done anything crazy with him. And I've messed around with him a little bit throughout this week as the five point tune, mm-hmm. but he he surprises me every so often. I, I like his stun. His stun is sneakily good. It saved his own sneakily. ass on several occasions where I'm in a spot where like <laughs> shit, King Shazam's gonna get messed up, and I'm like, ooh, he has a stun, <laughs> and I'll hit that person, and it saves him. It's yeah. sneakily, sneakily, yeah, <laughs> sneakily. But I haven't. Really I love found that. That's a, a new word, folks. Team. To run. <laughs> this is the first disease tune that I've geared, so I haven't really found a good team to run them on yet because I've always been kind of anti disease. But after I've been playing with them, and yeah. here I am, I'm just running through the match and figuring things out, and all of a sudden tunes start popping off. I'm like, oh yeah, the disease. I forget about it, and it's kind of cool. 
but I've enjoyed him. I want to see him at a higher level, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I think he'd be good with chemo. I think it's a good pairing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that was one of the tunes. <laughs> I'm laughing because you guys yeah. are just going to make fun of me here. I thought of a team. <laughs> Enchantress About, lead? Does it have a yes. just going to yes. ask? Enchantress lead. <laughs> I, I really want to try and change your sleeve, King Shazam, <laughs> Chemo, and Man Bat, but it requires me gearing Chemo and Man Bat. But I think I'll do it just to try it because I think that'd be pretty wicked. Yeah, give yeah. us your results, man. I'm always curious about all different team comps. Man, yeah, yeah definitely. I think I'll... Yeah. Hey, I, have I, feeling... I like Enchantress. I just got to have something to give you a hard time with. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think and, that... and Chemo hasn't been around long enough for you to have him geared. Good lord! Wasn't he just right. like a new tune like a couple weeks yeah. ago? Yeah, he was, they introduced him for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, Lord. my my thoughts Fucker. on King Shazam. I love the character Shazam himself. I always sure. have. I mean, I sure. have like original copies of the Fawcett comic books. You know, back when he was mm-hmm. you know dubbed Captain Marvel. Um, I was overall right now. I'm I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, I, I purchased him. Um, I wanted to go, you know, RB right off the bat with him. I have him L3 right now. Uh, he'll be L4 tonight. Um, I just don't like the wording that uh, they put in his uh, kit. Like on his last one where it says spread infection, it says mm-hmm. every time. The words every time cannot be misunderstood Every time means every time. <laughs> King Shazam sure deals. Well, listen, every time King Shazam deals damage, apply two disease on a random enemy. How can that be misunderstood as any other way? It doesn't work if you call assist with him. So he does not apply two disease on anybody at all. So when, when it's whenever. Any character, like Darkseid, for example, I was thinking, oh, this will be great because other characters, when they're called assist, you know, they'll go bleed, 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 or, you know, whatever their abilities are. King Shazam does not because it's a passive. Mm -hmm. And it will not apply that. But they should not put the word every time because that should circumvent the passive ability if they're using the word every time because that means it's not working. That's my one big gripe about him. Has anybody else brought this up anywhere? Have you seen this before on Reddit or in the forums on Discord or any place? I don't think so, but you got a good point. It's a weird wording, but it I think is. everybody's just rolling with the fact that they know passives. I never don't realized. Passives, but I, I, yeah. I, I agree that the wording's terrible for that because. But, su- kinda- but, but then you can go back to Azrael. His passive calls an active which calls another passive which calls another active so it's like Mm. passive to active to passive to active you could sit there and Mm. analyze it and it's it's just i don't know it's just a little thing it's a bug i wonder if it i wonder if it is supposed to be spreading the disease i wish it would because it would make him so much better because you slap him on a dark Mm -hmm. sides team he would be throwing disease out everywhere Every time he attacks or mm-hmm. anybody, even if it's on Hal Jordan team, Hal Jordan calls him, you know, he's going to, you know, but now he just hits with his, you know, corrupted strength of Hercules is, you know, first move. And it says right on it, when you level it out, um, it says it deals heavy damage. It does not. I think you could get like a wet pool noodle and hit harder. <laughs> it's, it's, it it's, it's sad. <laughs> I'm just disappointed overall because I have him completely maxed out, every all ringed out, level eighty, and it looks like he runs up and love taps him. Oh, and okay, it's, okay, and it's, wait, right? I want I want to jump in there because I've been waiting. I wanted to ask you if you've thought this same thing about him, and it okay. has to do with that. I that's one of my biggest problems with him is playing with him is so damn boring because his two. He'll go up with that batarang, and they should have just made him start slashing or something. He goes up, he's like, "Yeah, yeah." He taps him. It's, just, and then, it's the most boring <laughs> animations. And his his lightning on his three, he comes up and he's like, Psst. "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like he's this big ferocious lion, you know, ready to pounce, and then he's like, "Meow." 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's fairy of Hercules, not fury of Hercules. <laughs> Come on, make yeah, it look right. tough. Make it look. He's got exciting. a police taser, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yes. It, it's just so god awfully boring. To, you watch it, and you're just like, "Yeah, well, that was a letdown." <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just a I little think, hardened over. I it think it's cause because his damage matches his animation. He goes up and he's like, eh, and then his damage is like, eh. so you're just like, okay. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but at least so if they fixed his animations, maybe they'd fix his damage, or, or vice versa. I get it yeah. more. <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> wow, Steve's really getting it today. Yeah, I'm just disappointed. I, I, I had, I had such I high you. hopes. I think I Rettmus you. is on the same plane as me, though. I mean, he's fun, he's cool, but at the same time, there's so much disappointment. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you just kind of level out, and <laughs> there's no excitement anymore. I agree. Oh, I think yeah. I, I had him myself. like <laughs> when I when I was doing like PVE day for alliances, and you're at this low level like garbage team, and he does his AOE, and like nobody takes any damage. <laughs> And you're just sitting there like, okay, He's, he sucks. And that's where I think I started to like him more because you're sitting there thinking he sucks, and then all of a sudden two tunes will die from the disease that you forgot about that he applied because you got so unthrilled by his animations and everything else. You're like, oh, fuck. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom. It's like, oh, oh, thank you, King Shazam. It's like he just takes a while to catch up. That that was his saving grace for me. I get to- well. And, uh, Get after that disease comp. Yeah, right. Let us know. Another thing yeah. that a quick one, I'll, I'll just say this real quick. Um, some characters, if you notice, they will have a screen reaction. Like when it, what I mean by that is like when they go up and they hit a character, the whole screen will shake, which shows you the power of the damage the character's doing. Right. And, and that gives you like a feeling. I mean, it's intended to give you the feeling like, oh, he hit for a massive attack. Well, if, if you look at Shazam, nothing happens. It literally, it's like he runs up and goes, tap, and nothing. And I think that's another thing that kind of like bugs me. And they did the same thing with um, Bizarro, his number one. He'll just like swing in and just tap someone and no no effect on the screen shake or anything like that. But then you get another character, you know, it'll come in and hit and like you see the whole screen shake, and it's like, damn, that was a hard hit. Even if it was just a little tiny bit of damage, it gives you that false, you know, representation of like, man, that was powerful. And I just, I like the visualization a little bit, you know, because there's not much to look forward to when they kind of like ruin your characters, but they could at least give you some eye candy. I agree. Yeah, I agree because yeah, you're talking that, about that, that gives, He comes up with that, that. gives me a, th- a thought that I'm something I really want from the game, and I want Steve. I want animations back on two times. Agreed. I definitely agree. I, that, th- that should be an easy ask. Yeah. And, like, I miss so much, like, the Batgirl animation and the... I mean, I, the, is there anybody that plays this game at one time? Like, most people play it three times. I play it two times because I want to see it a little bit. Sure. But if they brought back two time animation, that would be that would be something I'd be thrilled about. I agree. You know what else would be cool? The uh when you're playing the game, if when you did a <laughs> We have many black flashes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it's the slug force coming in. <laughs> Do you hear what he's saying? No. no, Kitty, where are you? Oh, he's looking for his... For those who don't know, uh, Black Flash <laughs> got a new kitten this last week, and it's absolutely adorable. Uh, the kitten's That's name is funny. Sasha. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Sasha. Oh, my and, goodness. And, so, and so, hiding so from his children right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Bella's funny. keeping uh, keeping her protected there. So. Hopefully, because Ever- Everett, he... Uh, he thinks she's a stuffed animal. He doesn't put her down. <laughs> he doesn't understand. Oh. Right. But, but the good uh, thing is saying, they'll, they'll grow up pals, you know. Oh, hell yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to yeah. be awesome. They're little best friends already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, what's that shit called? The uh, hepatic? Or, you know, if they do a big hit, it makes your phone vibrate. Oh, hepatic I, base? I thought, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that'd be cool. If, like, when, like, to go in line with the uh, screen thing that Retmus was oh, okay, talking yeah. about 
You yeah, know, the screens like, oh. have the option to vibrate. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like when Black Flash does his thing where he resets the turn meter and it's all violent and looking, you get a little... That'd be kind of yeah. neat. And, yeah. And you drop your phone into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I actually implemented that in one of my programs on my Android phone. It's really easy to do when you can actually set the level of vibration and the length. So, I mean, it could be just really small and minute but you can still have that feeling of like That's oh cool. he hit hard you know for like a big hit it could be like the power level could be up real high but just a short burst you know or if some would be really cool what if like black lightning or uh black adam or them do their you know electric like, attacks the lightning. yeah in, in the same length that the electric's hitting them it's going at the same oh, time that'd be cool i think that'd be a cool feedback it i, I don't know I, I agree with you, BF. That would be a cool addition. Yeah, it'd be, it, I don't know, just be exciting to have that. You'd probably get annoyed after a while, but. <laughs> yeah, well, you can turn it off like you can the sound, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, those are great ideas, and, and I don't know if they'll ever get plugged into the game, but, you know, a fella can dream, right? Speaking of dreams, yep. uh, we have a special visitor today. Dr. Jonathan Crane swings by, and um, he's got a new special guest on his talk show in the Toxin Lounge. Let's uh, let's check it out. Welcome. I'm Dr. Jonathan Crane, the master of fear, here for Atlantis After Dark. Pull up a chair and mix yourself a drink. You can be sure I am. Today, I'm honored to welcome to the Toxin Lounge a peer and a teammate with the Legion of Doom, the most dastardly collection of supervillains the world has ever seen. The one and only Gorilla Grodd. Classifying me as a peer might be a little strong. Welcome. What's your pleasure? Can my minions mix you a drink? No. Alcohol dulls the senses and intellect and controls the mind of the weak. But the greatest controller of minds stands before you. The psychic mastermind, Grodd. Wonderful. Minions make mine a double. So enough with the pleasantries. Grodd, what scares you in the world of DC Legends? Grodd fear nothing. My superior intellect combined with superhuman strength has no reason for fear. Let me rephrase then. Is there anything that annoys you in the game? Mindless evasion comes from you and your buddies. I read their mind. They are the ones that are scared of Grodd's intellect. But isn't that the beauty of the evasion comp? I sit back with a drink and watch Black Flash and the Speed Meta kill themselves with fear. <laughs> But if you say intelligence is the key, why don't more DCL players use you? I don't see you around in the arena much. Idiots. My basic does special damage and stuns. And when legendary steals all intelligence ups, my psychic leader gives four intel ups to Grodd and even makes a teammate like you smarter, and with legendary faster as well. My passives give both intel and speed ups to Grodd and team, and my speed force memory legendary eliminates teammates dying from retaliation from the likes of Coda, Harley Quinn, and that twat Ezreal. Am I Gorilla Slam AOE? Well, that's Grodd's checkmate. What does the Gorilla Slam do? 
I could explain, but why don't I show you and your feeble-minded minions? <laughs> Since the doc is no longer with us, my kit's legendary order is Dealer's Choice. Anything goes. I'm the only character in the game where all five choices are genius. My opinion, I would start with five and one. But no messing up Quad's kit. All hail Quad. All right. Thank you, Dr. Crane and Gorilla Grodd. Always nice to see you again. Um, I wonder how the Wukong Animal Hospital is operating down there without him. Just... I'm not sure. For those of you who don't know, the Wukong Animal Hospital was a bit we did a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, but yes, always but a pleasure to get a visit from anymore. Dr. Crane. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a challenge. Uh, I don't know. Are, are, are we ever going to see Dr. Crane again, Biff? Well, I, you know, it's it's hard for me having two close friends fighting it out like that. But right. for once, uh, Dr. Crane... Got a little taste of his own medicine. Maybe for once there was somebody even angrier than he is. But I certainly agree with what they were talking about, that Gorilla Grodd is largely underutilized yeah. in the world of DCL. He is an amazing, amazing character. And I've gone to completely just replacing my Arcus with him because I'm just bored with Arcus. Um, but he does some really special things. I think the one point that Grodd brought up on the show there, his legendary order is, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They're all good. Yeah. And I, that's, that's, to me, that's the only character in the game that I feel that way about. Interesting. And he's just, he's balanced. He's, you know, he, he, he does so much, um, and so good and hit so hard. I had two completely overhealed blues that went down to his AOE. And Etrican almost survived it, but then he does his basic after he does his AOE. Right. And he just took him out in that. So I took out all four people in one move with two of them completely overhealed blues. So wow. granted, mine's RB4. So, I mean. <laughs> That's, I don't uh, expect it, you know, the same damage at L3, but right. he's an amazing character. Right. I've gotten and mine up to L4. I've been trying to get him up there slow, but sure. I finally got him up to L4 and gear level 10. Um, he's a slow build for me because I've never really had the resources to plug into him before. But now yep. that I have him, uh, he's definitely on my radar, my list O tunes to get. Uh, he can seem underwhelming damage wise sure, at lower sure, levels, but he's a support too. But he's, yeah, and I think that's well, what's important. But he's, yeah, and at high levels, he's a damage dealer. Right, like he's everything. Right, right. That's why I like. Like, I mean, he he takes out, you know, fully buffed Azrael with his basic for me. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. I mean, so that's and plus shielded when he, everything. When he gets buffed up with his in ups, I'm sure it multiplies mm. the damage, you know, a lot. Sure. Yeah. He's, sure. he's a beast. You've got an awesome grod, man. Makes me jealous. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish I would. I would. Him, I would have him RB five if he, if it wasn't going to take him over my back girl. Yeah, <laughs> right. and I still considered it because I like grod so much. Sure, sure. Well, Do that it. makes me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me wonder, right? Because we're talking about grod, and we're talking about you know underutilized tunes. There's a lot of tunes in this game that I think are are very underutilized or very underused or ignored altogether. And I know that every month they come up and they do reworks, and we can get into the reasons for the reworks all day long. It's political. It's based on money, yada, yada. 
Um, but let's pretend that this is fantasy world and we can have anything we want. I want to hear what your two most dire need of rework tunes are. In other words, which two characters in the game would you most like to see get a rework? And I'll go first because I, I think this will help you guys understand kind of the answers that I want you guys to give me. Mine would be Batman, Caped Crusader, and Cyborg, right? Um, if you look at Batman, Caped Crusader, he's one of the only tunes left in the game with just four superpowers. Um, and let's face it, at least one Batman in the game should have a leadership ability. And I think it should be him. So if I was going to rework him, I would make his rework uh, give him a leadership ability at a 50% chance for each team member to gain true sight after their turn. And then I would make his legendary for that also extend an equal chance for that teammate to gain two evasion ups. I think if you plugged that in on his kit as it exists now, I think he would be a very viable leader, um, especially up against um, tunes or or um, um, well, you're you're the evasion master, Biff. Um, you 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 tell me if you think that would be a good uh, evasion lead to uh, make use of. Well, I'd have t- there are so many good evasion leaders here, um, so. I don't. You know, I agree with you that he should be a leader. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the way, world's greatest detective does have a leadership ability. Oh, does he? Oh, I, yeah, he does. I never use um, him. Yeah, no, <laughs> neither did I. He he, fi- he, fi- okay. he finally got the 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 just clown suit he deserves. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, so like, listen, I like everything you said there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, it's really, to me, it's just really hard to replace Batgirl. Like I, I've tried like Black Canary, mm-hmm. like trying to get her as a, you know, a leader. Then there's, I mean, geez, there's, there's a lot of, I mean, Nightwing, another yeah. evasion leader. Mm-hmm. Not that he's anything but trash right now. Right. He could actually probably use a rework. <laughs> um, sure. But no, but I like, I like your, I like your, your thoughts. Certainly. Yeah. yeah. So I like the true sight. Definitely. Yeah. I want more true sight yeah. options. Yeah, Could, I mean, I would what, just what add. Would, I would add one thing. At all, his smoke bomb. I would make it to where he always applied his evasion ups and not just a chance at applying them. That's the only right. other thing that I would like to be changed. Yeah, the yeah. thing I would switch on your leadership ability there. Uh-huh. What was your? Uh, it was a fifty percent chance for a true sight across the board. Yeah, fifty percent chance said? for each member to gain true sight after their turn. For each member, just, okay, and then I would take the uh, evasion off the legendary mm-hmm. and make it uh, some sort of way to deal um, buff immunity. Make them mm-hmm. more like a Hal Jordan as opposed to uh, uh, an, uh, an evasion leader. Give them the ability to protect the rest of the team, and then he still has the damage to deal. I think that would be fun, plus the... Uh, Plus the true sight there. I don't know. That's yeah. that was a thought I had. We don't yeah, get no, a lot that would of work too. Yeah, the buff immunity. Yeah, but how? Like, if you just think of Batman himself, though, how mm-hmm. would he protect a team in real life? Like, I could see how Hale Jordan would. Sure, but Batman's kind yeah. of more of a physical. He'd, he'd do more like, of an invisibility he, he across the board. Smoke yeah. screen. Well, that's why I gave him the evasion ups. Yeah, and, uh, an invisibility. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, so you give the rest of the team evasion ups too. So your smoke bomb, you know, maybe that's where it should be. Good point. I don't yeah. know. Anyways, good discussion like all the it. way around. Um, my second one would be Cyborg, and here's why. Cyborg is so far down the rung in my roster, it's not even funny. <laughs> and he's a Justice League member that, for better or worse, DC is really trying hard to push right now. And so I don't know why they haven't touched him yet. If I was going to do a rework, it would be another minor rework. I would actually remove his leadership ability, which 
right now is contingent on your team gaining a 30% chance increase to a 12% turn meter. Give me a break. Yeah. It's supposed to be optimized systems, right? Mm-hmm. At least make it a passive ability that actually means optimized systems. It takes too long to ramp up. You know, so scrap that and turn to optimized systems into a um, fifth passive that gives him a 50% chance for all teammates to gain two crit ups when they take damage. And the legendary on that could also be gain two strength up. That way his kit is fleshing out to the rest of his team in a uh, much uh, more needed support capacity. Hmm. I agree. I, I, I would definitely like that. Um, I think they need to, I mean, if we were talking about, you know, them actually doing something we would like. Uh, his other passive, the team sport, mm-hmm. you know, he only gives a certain percentage to give one strength up to everybody. I mean, <laughs> it should automatically be give, you know, a strength up or two or three, you know, right. per conditions. Um, and I think since it's Cyborg, he should be a character kind of like Zod where he doesn't miss. I mean, of all the characters in the game, with his computing power, he should be able to hit targets every time. So, like, when his, uh, you know, first, and the one that has, like, just, what was it, uh, I forget which ability was, the cannon charge? Mm-hmm. It's, his, it's his one, and it's a well, next Well, right, to can't, triangulating next blast to has, can't miss. right, next to cat can't miss. Yeah. Which I actually like how that works. Well, in the but second, I, I, it was the second one, the cannon charge. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry, BF. Where it says he only has a certain percentage to hit oh, right. on his second ability. I mean, it should always have the ability to hit. Um, I understand them building it up, but you, it, he, he's a cyborg. I mean, he's, right. he, he should be able to calculate. I mean, be true to his nature of like what he is and what he can do. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just my, that's also- my thoughts. Yeah. Oh, I, I agree, and I, I get the one-two thing where you gotta, you know, gotta ramp mm-hmm. up to get the can't miss. But Cyborg doesn't make it to a second turn. No. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so, so that's the problem with that. I mean, I, I think King Shazam could take him out. <laughs> you, know, you know, like, like he, he, just, he just gets breathed on by any blue, and he's gone. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and by the way. Thanks, Rep, for coming up with another green can't miss idea. <laughs> Fuck off, all of you guys. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, of all the guys, he should have it. Yeah. I mean, no, I get it. Yeah, no, I get we it. need somebody just... to take care of those evasion cops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> you know what would be cool with Cyborg? It could be a little neat niche for him. What since that? he is about optimizing systems, uh, supporting the other team or the rest of the team, and helping mm-hmm. is allow him to apply can't miss to other team members for a turn or something like that. That oh. way you could have a red can't miss or a blue can't miss Ooh. on the team. I that like be, it. That could be yeah, pretty that's cool. Not bad. That's a good idea, BF. I, yeah. I really I like think, that. I think that's an awful idea. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Probably the best idea I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. So let me ask you, and I'll just start from – left to right on my screen. Biff, what two characters would you most like to see reworked? So I'll be pretty quick here because a, a few of mine just got done. Right. Um, you know, my Bizarro was on my list forever of really wanting a rework. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, I, I'll be really simple. Or I didn't even really do kit redos because these are two characters that I love their kit. Um, they've just fallen off the wayside. I think I brought this up on a further, sh- uh, in an earlier show, Wonder Woman POT. Um, she was my first rebirth. Um, so she's RB one and she is like 97th now in ranked number of characters I have on my list. Mm-hmm. So I have to scroll <laughs> for like 32 <laughs> seconds to find POT. And that, that includes if I, if I filter by blues, right. Um, you know, just a finder, you know. Um, so P.O.T. doesn't need any help on her kit. She just needs a bump. Yeah. She mm-hmm. needs to get up to where, you know, like, like you know, Rhett was saying, like, Cyborg, like, gain one strength up. Like, that's the old days of right. DCL. Like, now it's buff heavy. It's it's all of these things. So right. 
the, the older characters need to be adjusted <laughs> right. to be viable. Right. It's the George um, Lucas special edition of uh, DC Legends yeah. <laughs> where you get, instead of two TIE fighters, fucking 8,000. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Only instead of TIE fighters, it's power-ups. Right. I, I hear you. And, and my second one, I was excited. I recently got enough shards to RB3, um, but I'm not doing it until he gets a rework or at least a bump. Um, is Black Manta. Yeah. I think Black Manta yeah. could be one of the most valuable um, bleed chars in the game mm. and could create a lot of fun bleed comps if he, like Cyborg, could stay alive long enough <laughs> to impact a match. Right. So Black Manta, I think, is highly underrated. He has to be completely and totally protected. Yeah. Yeah. Or or you're done. Someone like Power Girl, AOE, he's gone. Yeah. Like, it's just, it, he's gone. Like, yeah. it, it, you know, it's so, you know, he just needs a bump. I like his kit. Steve, good job on his kit. Mm-hmm. Great job on the POT kit. Just make him viable. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree I with you, that. Biff. He's, he's an awesome character. I mean, he's mm-hmm. one of my favorites, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. He, he really is. I mean, they could probably fix that with something like you know how he gains the um what, what was his ability like every every turn um it builds his strength up or not his strength but his endurance up it's supposed to build his endurance up yeah he gains um stamina ups agility ups and stamina ups that's it stamina mm-hmm. I, that's why i couldn't think about it um maybe have like a passive or something in there where he has like six or more stamina ups on his turn gain a awareness one awareness or something like that to give him that viability you know so he lasts you know i mean something like that wouldn't be hard you know to implement and he'd make it so much farther in the game it'd be so cool yeah but i mean think about all the things he has he has true sight yep he has um heal immunity Mm mm-hmm he has permanent bleeds. Yes. Yes. Like he has all, he turns men's into bleeds, which is, that's one of my favorite things in the game when, when you were dealing with like those, those men, when the men characters were like, Star like he Sapphire. melts Mira. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. Like it's just, so if you, if you could keep him alive, he's amazing. I actually think that if you increase his turn meter, instead of like a, gain a 10% turn meter on his legendary for four, um, make it gain 50% turn meter. Make him faster. Yeah. Right. Well, but, that would really but help way, him out. But that's 10% turn meter for each mend turned into bleed. Right. Oh. So he might turn six mends into into bleeds on one move, which is a 60% turn meter. So he already has that, really. Well... Yeah, but Unless it's contingent no on right. Well, but I don't bring him to matches without men's. I mean that that's what he is. He's an anti men. Like he's a he's a swamp thing killer. <laughs> you know because yeah. cause he can't revive. He, you know, all those things. Like that's the first thing I think when I see men's. That's the first person I think of. Yeah, you know, he used to be my barter counter Ooh. until she became a twat. Uh-huh. What? I mean, she still has men's, but she's still oh but she's a twine. All right, all right. Well, thanks, Biff. Those are some some great re- rework ideas. Um, let's go over and ask Retmus. Which two characters do you think are in most need of a rework? Um, I would choose uh, Joker, uh, Damage Goods. Um, hmm. A lot of people don't know, but he was actually the first pvp awarded character that's how far back he goes when he first started when i first started the game the very first week he was the pvp reward i have him up at l5 Uh, i really like the character a lot of people didn't like him in the movie but i kind of liked it because it was a completely different take i I don't want to see the same type of character redone over and over and over i like that little bit you know, a diversity in between it to differentiate this Joker from another Joker. Uh, so that's why I kind of liked it. I mean, was he the best Joker? Of course not, but I enjoyed, you know, the take on it. So I liked the character. So I invested in him. Um, he, I don't think he needs a major rework, but he's mm-hmm. left behind. It, it's that the old mentality, like his passive, his fifth ability. 
Um, it's a it's a leader ability. I think they could get rid of the leader ability and just make it a, a, a regular passive. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's only like 35% chance uh, to give a teammate either one crit up or one affinity up. What is that going to do? Oh, those affinity ups, those are awesome. I, I mean, seriously, <laughs> that, that right there, it should be, anyway, it should be passive. Sure. And it should be at least three apiece is what I would say. Maybe like a 35% chance to give each existing teammate that many up or something like that you know not, nothing crazy to make him op or anything just to balance him out with everybody else um i think uh his first ability is is really good i like it i don't really think there needs to be a, a change to it it's where he uh he he has a chance to attack everybody uh with normal damage and then he applies a second attack that we don't see but it's lets it apply bleeds it has a 50 percent chance to apply apply three bleeds to random teammates i mean enemies sorry um i would say the second ability that i'm not going to kill you he has a, a stun it's a it, it starts off like as a percentage stun and then you can make it up to i believe it is a 100 percent chance to stun I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And just a little power bump. I mean, there's really nothing majorly wrong with this kit. It's just Mm. the power creep has left him so far behind. And just that one, you know, bump. I mean, you know, we all know that means absolutely nothing in the game. Um, So he's, he's one of my my first ones that I would do. I mean, overall they they can make him a pretty decent character, kind of like they did with Deathstroke. They brought him back, didn't make him OP, but they made him a solid character now. And that's what I'd sure. like to see done with him. I don't want char- I don't want characters OP. I want characters that have to, you know, rely on teammates, you know, as an overall team to win a match. Not oh, I plug in, you know, Azrael and one other character that constantly can revive health, or you know, so my yeah. one character can power up and kill everybody, or you know, Arcus, I can just double tap and get death, death immunity and wipe out all Reds. You know, I'd rather it be to where everybody is kind of balanced. I mean, it's just my perspective. Other people like characters that go in and demolish. But I I want a little bit more strategy where I have to think it out. And that's where, like, Biff's challenge comes in for a lot of people, too. Because you have to think when, you know, he's forcing you to say, here's your roster. Use your head. Pick these characters. You know, make them work. And that's how I think everybody should be able to do in the game and not just rely on the meta you know oh these are the best characters they you know do the most damage and that's that's just my little you know rant for right now (laughs) Uh, my second one would be uh wonder woman doj um she could just go with a once again just a a little bit of a power uh bump sure and i would say her her uh okay when she uh does her swinging to the lasso that removes all evasion ups. Uh, Yeah, it's boo. (laughs) But (laughs) what doesn't make sense about it is it will always remove all the evasion ups, but she misses an attack. And then Harley Quinn double taps her and kills her every time. It should be a can't miss move. I think if they just make that a can't miss move. I can see that. Because it doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm swinging about around this big rock, smacking everybody. All your evasions are going. But oops, I actually missed you. Right. You know, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> if they would just make that I, I can't miss move, and just a little power bump, I think she would be pretty much good as is. Yeah, and I can't disagree with a lot I of that. I can't. I, I I think her missing makes complete sense. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what i don't think makes any sense out of all of that who the hell has an l5 joker damaged goods <laughs> retmus apparently i guess well, we have <laughs> fun, fun fact on my roster he is the only character i couldn't even l4 if i wanted to right <laughs> i because i have everyone l l i have everyone but two l5 eligible Right, and he's the only one I have that's not even L four eligible. He has the least amount of shards I have on any character in the game. Mine's L one. <laughs> Yours is who? L one. Oh, I, I, you know, mine is L one. I mean, 
Let me go look and double check. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is we've all been playing for probably about the same amount of time too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just I didn't... think I did miss his PVP event. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I can't reach. I, I, that's got to be how I have them because they never put them in the store and I wouldn't have bought them. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But didn't he have something when Suicide Squad originally got? He did. And I don't, I, yeah. I don't Maybe, remember yeah. ever. Yeah. There's been a yeah. few sales here and there, but they haven't been big ones. Right. Well, no, I, I certainly haven't bought any. I'm just saying, I, th- I think he didn't, wasn't he the, was he the freebie when, when Suicide Squad first came out? I don't think uh, they no. were even doing it like that back then. No, okay. no. He was Maybe just a weren't. PvP right. character back then. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I got him to L3 somehow. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I know I wasn't <laughs> buying like 800 gems for 20 to 35 shards. I know I didn't well, do any of that. This shitty RNG. I think he's been a raid to him, hasn't he? <laughs> Remember, they used to have the, um, instead of um, like the siege, they used to have it to where they would have a character where you could go in and just play kind of like the... Uh, six day that we have now it was an mm-hmm. old mode they used to have where you could go in and just repay energy and keep playing it kind of like that right okay. but uh I, f- I forget exactly how the mode was because it's been so so long but they got rid of it but that was a way you could keep but it, they would keep incrementing the price of the money each time you did it kind of like how mm-hmm. red alerts is yeah. it was done that way i think i, I remember that like yeah I said, it's it's been so long, but they used to have that mode. And I think he was in that at one time. And that, that might have been the way I did it. But those are my characters. Hmm. Yeah. Those are good choices. Um, well, one of them is a good choice. I don't think Joker Damage Goods <laughs> belongs anywhere in that list. But everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's why they make chocolate and vanilla, because some people like crappy ice cream. Okay. <laughs> all right Jeez. black what flash the what, what about, about the, the twist w- oh i don't know huh? i haven't had a twist in a long time <laughs> <laughs> i'm not supposed to eat things like that right biff yes when we okay. get to our age right good lord right okay <laughs> geriatric after dark i know <laughs> <laughs> it's Metamucil. Take a hit and pass it on, man. Um, <laughs> oh, all right, Lord. Black Flash. Take us through your reworks, pal. Mine are simple. The first one is uh, Metallo. I, I like how he works. I like his kit, but Hawk takes more damage than him, for Christ's sakes, and Hawk is in a taunter, for, for one. So I want him to There's a reason we call much... him Marshmallow. Yeah, whatever. Still good. <laughs> That's why he needs to rework, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I want him to be able to him. take more damage. It, right. Man, and it could probably be with, uh, what what were those things again? Um, stamina. stamina ups or yeah. some sort of way like that. But, yeah, just make them viable for the, how he's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, Lobo can take better damage. And, I mean, granted, Lobo is a taunter, but he's more of a second turn taunter i guess yeah you can call him that but yeah make him so you can put him in because he's got the stuns he removes the the buffs off the other team with his aoe which is awesome oh yeah i mean he he does have a good kit but you yeah you, you breathe at him and he blows up right so just make him a little bit more viable right you and know, my he's second a- one I don't know if you guys have any comments on him. I figured. Well, no, I was just going to say he's he's a (laughs) Superman villain. His heart is made of kryptonite. You would think Mm -hmm. he'd be more viable as a character instead of being someone who gets knocked over by a good stiff breeze. He's supposed to be able to stand up to Superman for God's sakes. That's all Mm -hmm. I'll say. But which I still follow the logic. Physical. Right. I don't think he should have been physical either. No, I don't either. That was kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. It would should have been energy. Yeah, yeah, he should have been agreed. energy as much as I probably would rather have him blue because there's too much. Well, he's not a mystic. As well. I know he's... that's why they need to come up with a fourth affinity. I, I don't. De- what dealer's choice? I, I guess I don't know <laughs> the suck tune. I, I don't know, but I, 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 he doesn't make sense as a as a physical. But I no. also don't want to move him to energy because there's too many other options in energy, and then he would just right. be. Even more useless. <laughs> right. <laughs> but so who's your second just, rework? My second one is Aquaman uh, KOA. And okay. 
that's kind of a simple one too. It's it has to do with his. Damn it! Let me. I had it open here. His leadership. Well, you guys are all ability. kinds of prepared today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, his uh, his leadership. I just want him to come out of the gate and apply his forty percent turn meter down that he has on his number four. Mm-hmm. The forty because he's an old tune too. He's left behind. Sure. Forty percent turn meter down to the whole team used to be a big deal back then. So that's why I feel they have it locked behind Maelstrom, where you have to have the men's on you and the bleeds on the team mm. to even unlock it. Now Pull that right. out of there, put it on his leadership ability, and have him apply it at the start of turn. Or no, you're battle. right. So you're right out the right. gate, boom, he's hitting these people with yep. 40% turn meter down. You got mm-hmm. this Aquaman who now is, I, I guess people probably be mad at me for saying that because that kind of changes the meta. Mm-hmm. In a sense, I mean, because you can slow down right out the gate, the Martian Manhunter, Black Flashes, the Martian. Cause I think, what what's he apply? 25% turn meter up, up, both of them. Martian Manhunter and Cheetah, I believe is 25%. Uh, yes. So, I mean, you're beating them right out of the gate. So, if right. you want right. to take it down to 35%, you'll actually negate shiva then just you'll put you'll yeah. you'll go on par with shiva so it's it could be a way to balance it out and bring in a, a different leader and right. i i don't mind the rest of his kit he has all the all the good shit in it from back in the day yeah but just yeah, bring I mean, it up to what, par. what you're saying is what what you're saying is actually correct i mean that little bump in his kit is rather clunky and mm-hmm. it needs to be souped up for lack of a better word. Heck, mm-hmm. I would have been happy yeah. if they just removed the gate from the mouse storm to be able yeah. just to use it. To, uh, to yeah. use it. That could yeah. work as well, yeah. Having the 40% down as the uh, legendary. And, mm-hmm. I mean, just have it at, you know, a countdown, you know, like every three turns or something like everybody else instead of having mm-hmm. two. It's literally got two gates on it, if you think about it. It's got to have bleeds and men. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you're, you're, you you got to have a gate on yourself plus a gate on the team. Mm-hmm. I think that's that is a little overkill for a, a move that doesn't really do that much right now. Yeah, him and POT used to be my primary two leaders, and I probably use Maelstrom once every six or seven matches because it wasn't because of the gates, like you're saying. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's a useless ability. But when you think he's got bleeds, he's got you know um, stun, he's got you know. Turn me, you know, he's got all that stuff. He he's he just needs to be brought back up to speed with our, you know, present. <laughs> yeah, agree. Yeah, you know what could be fun? I just thought of it. With that, Enchantress lead with no Enchantress <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do the on the team leader. Do the thirty five percent turn meter down. To balance it basically out with anybody. So then you can use them and not have to worry about anything else. Well, I, I suppose the fastest comp then would be BF and Aquaman. But do do the turn meter down. Leave the gate on the fourth. Make the legendary stun entire team. And also add oh, apply a bleed <laughs> with that turn meter down to a random enemy at the beginning of the turn. So you're halfway through the gate. Yeah, a stun AOE is. That would make the Maelstrom a little bit more fun, too, because, I mean, you're doing the big tornado. It sty- yeah. stuns the whole team. I could see uh, throwing Brainiac. Aquaman wicked. I could see him doing Aquaman and throw Brainiac in for even more mm. turn meter manipulation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I could and Black Flash on there as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we would have Aquaman, Brainiac. No. Black Flash, and then someone just to kill everybody. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I'll tell you I, what. I think I just made Aquaman pretty cool. I think Steve should do that. Yeah, I, mean, well, I think everyone would love love you that you just made Black Flash more prevalent. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and I'll I'll second that 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 uh, sentiment. I'll I'll say this. You know, um, Steve, we hope you're listening. We just did your job for you. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I'm not being very funny at all. But here's somebody who is going to be funny. 
and it's Merle. He's back, and he's got a bone to pick. And um, let's hear what he has to say. Howdy, folks. Merle here, and I got a bone to pick with Steve over at DC Legends. Now, don't get me wrong. I love playing the game as much as the next fella, but here lately, nearly all the raids have fallen over holiday weekends. Uh, is there a purpose behind any of this, or are you just trying to piss people off? I believe the kids these days call it trolling. Well, allow me to respond in kind. Raids are going to happen this Memorial Day weekend, and for some of us, it's a long weekend, and one that I'm sure people are dying to get out for. And there ain't no way in hell I'm spending four days of any of my hard-earned money to tap a tiny screen over and over and over again. If you're going to take people's Memorial Day weekend, which is the unofficial start to summer, then these better be some damn good rewards or else you can go fuck yourself with a Texas 12-inch jackhammer courtesy of Rob's Dildas. Until next time, this is Merle saying, don't fuck with our long weekend. See you on down the road. All right, Merle. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm on Team Merle for this one. I'm not wasting my Memorial Day weekend on flipping raids. So hopefully it's a shitty raid. I mean, I'm actually hoping for a shitty raid this time. Well, I think I think everyone's in the same boat. Yeah. Well, maybe it's just people in the U.S. But, right, um, right. But the the idea is, is that you see such vast differences in points in various raids Mm -hmm. like one time we shut it down as aad on saturday with 550 million right um the next raid with you know which was the dark side you know um you know superwoman whatever um we had 790 million on friday afternoon right you know so it's all i I think this will be a low scoring um i do too raid yeah and you know and and uh, it it's an e- e- even playing field. Yeah, yeah. And let's hope that's the way. Nobody wants to be playing. Think so. Right. I am not Can't going to be tethered to my phone. Everybody into submission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I refuse to be tethered to my phone over the entire Memorial Day weekend. It's just not going to happen. So. Yeah, that'll be it's... fun. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Let's think about wrapping this one up, folks. Um, Let's take it around the horn. Biff, why don't you start us off? What's your last word, pal? Uh, You know what? Just an update for everyone on the Biff Challenge. Um, Merciless uh, is running away with it. He has over 100, (laughs) well, almost 100 point lead. Which makes the second straight Biff Challenge, a member of the 1500, ran away with it. Best wow. master in the first one. There is still a week left, but Merciless seems very comfy um, in his place. But this was a really fun one to be able to really have a lot of options on the Legion of Doom. And really, is, as Rhett said earlier, have to think through. Um, but Merciless did a great job. You know, as I said, you know, the competitive group over there at the 1500... Um, they will most likely win both Biff challenges. The only thing they don't win is beating us in raids because they have never <laughs> finished ahead of us in raids. Yep. And we are the two, we are the two casual monster alliances right. in, in DCL. And um, they might win my challenge, well, but we win the team event. They can win the challenge, but we're Poking ahead of the them. the sleeping in, uh, bear, aren't raids. you, Bear? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Poking the sleeping bear. That's it. That's it. Nicely said, buddy. Nicely said. <laughs> That's it. All right. Retmus, what's the uh what's the word, pal? Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a, a different uh saying here at the end. I just wanted to thank my significant other. I'd like to really thank my wife for everything she does. And everybody out there should really take time and if, if you have someone, be grateful you do, because I'll tell you, like, especially when raids comes up, she makes sure that, you know, I have time to do the things I enjoy. 
even though she might take on extra chores or duties, you know, to make sure that happens. Just sometimes we take things for granted and we're not appreciate, appreciative of what we have, you know, like until it's gone. You know, you always hear that saying, you don't know what you mm. got to it's gone. So everybody out there, you know, just take a little bit of time out and just appreciate, you know, your significant other. Well said, man. I don't know where that came from, but that was really good. <laughs> like, this is I want, supposed I to want be him a... to give like my 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 holiday toasts. <laughs> <laughs> I just have rep on, 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 on uh, Zoom. We hire rep out family. for parties, everybody. He's Mr. <laughs> Excitement. No, seriously. I that... generally go hide in another room ashamed and cry after <laughs> listening to him. He makes me feel so terrible about myself. <laughs> oh, boy. No. Thank you, Retmus. That was that was a very very nice sentiment, and uh, I couldn't agree more. All right, last word, BF. It's yours. What is it, pal? Metallo's good. Okay, he's not a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He he pops like a marshmallow. Okay, whatever. I, no one likes Metallo. It's all right. Um, hate mail does. I yeah, hate mail loves him, yeah, but he's like RB five. <laughs> I think I'd like anybody at RB5. (laughs) I have no chance here. (laughs) Oh, boy. If I have a last word, it's going to be make King Shazam and Bizarro both more exciting, please, Steve. They they deserve it. Make the screen shake a little bit like Retmus said or turn my phone into a vibrator like I suggested. One of the two. Let's get something going here, Steve. I don't know why you want that. All right. Turn your phone into what, a my vibrator. phone into a vibrator? God. I not literally. I don't know where you want to keep your phone if they turn it into a vibrator either. So keep that to yourself, too. <laughs> back pocket. Because he was about ready to share <laughs> yeah, his back pocket, all right. That's a back pocket. That's the name of this episode right now, back pocket. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. Going to use your prison wallet over there? Good grief. Oh, my Lord. Er, all right, all right, all right. So, I lost where I was. Okay, we're going to close the show. Uh, um, as always, we want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to be with us today. Um, like we said at the top of the show, don't miss an episode. Subscribe, drop some love with like, stars, high fives, hashtags, whatever you got in front of you. And spread the word if you like what you hear, because we depend on your word of mouth to grow. And we appreciate all of you for doing so. For Biff, for BF, for Retmus, and for Witty Amazon, who is sorely missed today, this is AB saying so long, everybody. Gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe. Here in this great hall of justice are the most powerful podcasters ever assembled. Supermail. Biffman. Witty Amazon. Black Flash. AB. Dedicated to fun entertainment, and quality podcasting everywhere. This is Atlantis After Dark. Pocket back black flag. <laughs> the fucking prison wallet boy over there. Prison wallet. <laughs> yeah, I can make you Isn't that what they buddy. call it? You don't, need, you don't need to wait for the update on the game. <laughs> <laughs> I can make you oh my God, all right.